Right, one other story that is developing, and this has kicked off a bit of a hornet's nest with on Sean Plunkett's show this morning, when Michelle Bogue took a swipe at uh, whale oil blogger Cameron Slater. Have a listen to this. Some particular bloggers I know who charge people <laughs> not to mention them. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Ooh. Well, no, hang on, hang yeah, on. Let's, tell let's hold more. it right there. Tell us more, Michelle. No, because he'll just have another go at me. But I oh, know this is Cameron Slater. Not making any comment. Oh, well, Cameron, well does, do you pay Cameron Slater not to say nasty things about you, Michelle? Or I does don't. He offer that, I don't. Does, In fact, even if I did pay him, um, yeah. he wouldn't stop saying nasty things about me. Okay, do you know people whom Cameron Slater has said, if you pay me this money, I will not say nasty things about you? Um, I know people who pay money to uh, through, an intermediary, through an intermediary to a particular blogger so that he won't mention their name. Well, pretty strong claims there, because effectively what... What Michelle Bogue is saying or inferring is that Cameron Slater can be bought. That uh, you can pay him not to say nasty things about you. And if you want something nice said, you pay 300 bucks for an intermediary. Um, so, what does Cameron Slater make of it all? He's on the line now. Good afternoon, Cam. Hey, Sanzo. Has she got you dead to rights? Nah, she's making shit up as usual. So, what you're saying, what she's lying? Yeah, she's lying. There is not a single person who has ever paid me not to write anything about them. And if she knows of somebody like that, then I want their name so I can invoice them. Because she appears to be saying that this is done through an intermediary. So uh, that, supposedly, supposedly meaning, Cameron, that you could then stand back and say, I've never done this. No, well, that's not true. Uh you know, I don't I don't take money to not talk about people. I mean, for goodness sake, um, I used to get calls from the ninth floor uh, in the beehive where they'd say, please, Cam, don't say that about that cabinet minister. Or, please, Cam, don't say that. And I'd just say to them, uh, you know, GFY, basically. Um, your listeners can work that out. I'm not going to say those words on radio. Do you or have you ever offered good coverage to, to anyone in return for money? No. I write what I want to write about a uh, anything that takes my fancy. And if something's uh, poos, then I'll say it's poos. You can't pay me to say something's nice if it's not. And, uh, you know, I'm never, certainly never going to say anything nice about Michelle Bogue. Well, maybe certainly not now, but OK. But you're saying, because she was pretty clear what she was saying this morning and 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 sean gave her the chance you know went, you know got her to, to be very clear about it so it what is wrong. and you're saying that she is lying yes and what motivated not, by that's what not new for, that's not new for michelle bogue though what you're saying she's a serial liar well i've said that on radio live before she had a a, a complete meltdown once and screamed down the uh, the airways uh, while well, Mike Williams sat there chuckling because she was upset because I, I um, called her a poisonous lying scumbag. Um, I didn't disagree with her. Look, people listening, I mean, to be honest, the people listening to this, Cameron, probably think this doesn't reflect well probably on either of you. Oh, well, I don't really care. Um, but Michelle has got um, delusions of grandeur. She thinks she's still relevant in New Zealand politics. But the reality is, is she's a really old, smelly... Uh, hunk of rancid mutton dressed as rancid mutton. Oh, jeepers. She, she might think that but I... Cameron, isn't, look, look, I can understand people having a crack at people who are their political enemies, if you like. But what it sounds like there, it, that sounds deeply personal and offensive, doesn't it? Oh, look, you know, the history of our family and Michelle Bode goes back quite some way. Uh, she keeps having a crack and, uh, and I keep defending um, our family. She, she may actually think that I hate her, but look, I don't hate Michelle Bogue, but I tell you what, I would unplug her life support to charge my phone. If what she says is so wrong, Cameron Slater, if she's effectively then defaming you. Why don't you sue her? Well, look, you know, that's for cowards running off to court. It's for gutless wonders um, who want to make attention for themselves. Uh, I've got big, broad shoulders. She can say whatever she likes. It, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, matter to me. Uh, what it does matter to me is that she spends every waking moment thinking about Cameron Slater. Uh, I don't spend any moments thinking about Michelle Bode.
She has been a past president of the National Party. She has been involved with major co- record. Major, major corporations in, in in this country. She's been involved in all sorts of stuff. It is you can't just write her off as a nobody, surely. Well, I can. I can write her off on the basis of what I know about her past. Uh, you know, she was the first uh, visitor. Uh, when my father became the uh, National Party president. She was his first visitor on the first day he was a president. She rocked up with three full scat pages of names of people that she demanded uh, board positions for. Uh, you know, this is these, these are facts. They're indisputable. Um, she, uh, the cheek of the woman to actually do that when she'd been running the campaign of the of the person standing against my father just shows the, the utter uh, capacity of duplicity for her. And then, uh, you know, there's just been a long-standing campaign. All right, I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't matter very much. She might have been a past president of the... Uh, of the National Party, but here in Bill English have got the have got the record for the lowest ever polling of the National Party. So, you know, I'm happy to stand on my record. She can stand on hers, but she won't be very tall. All right, so what you're saying is that we know lawsuit from you. You're saying she's wrong, but obviously what we do take out of this, there is, there is a lot of bad between Cameron Slater and Michelle Bogue. We'll be right back.